up, guys? I am back. And uh, as you can see on the title, is Ryan Garcia Juice? And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And uh, I'm going to hear my thoughts on that and uh, and the team of Canelo and whatnot. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, hit the subscribe button, as always. Throw the thumbs up. And let's get right to it, guys. All right, is Ryan Garcia juicing, you know, taking the steroids? Um, I don't think so, personally. I think he just doesn't want to fight Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, um, Gervonta Davis, and any of those guys that are, any other guys that are coming up, the T.O.s, you know. I personally don't think he wants to fight any of those guys. I think that's what, you know, I think... You know, I know I'm not trying to bash Ryan too much or bash him. Like, I just, I think he's just, I believe personally, he just doesn't feel like he can fight any of those guys yet. I mean, he fought Devin Haney before in amateurs, but, you know, amateurs compared to how they are now, I'm pretty sure it's going to go a lot different. Ryan Garcia is a decent boxer. It's not that he, he's not, like, a decent boxer. He is, you know. I just think he's afraid to lose that O, which is a lot of people, and that a lot of people are afraid to lose their O, which is okay, understandable, or not. But when you talk as big as Ryan Garcia was talking, and how he be talking most of the time, especially after his fights, you know, calling out Devin Haney, you know, they got into the ring with each other after a fight. I believe um, Devin Haney was fighting, and he got in the ring, and he's like, oh, let's go, let's make this fight happen, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, obviously it didn't go into fruition. Um, I just think Ryan Garcia is a scared. I don't think he's really juicing. I think uh, I think he's just scared. You know, and a lot of people I see a lot, you know, all over social media that, Ryan, you know, Ryan Garcia might be juicing. Just as, you know, his teammates are in Canelo's camp or whatnot. Canelo got caught and, like, three other guys have gotten caught, you know, using steroids or using something that's banned like a banned supplement, you know, to enhance their fighting. You know, I, I don't think Ryan is, you know, I think he's just, he's just afraid to fight Devin Haney and all the rest of them, all the rest of those guys. You know, I think, you know, Ryan thinks in his mind or when he's writing on the keyboard, you know, that he can do it. I believe personally he just doesn't do it. Recently, he just finished fighting Luke Campbell. Wasn't his best outing to me. I seen him do a little better than what he did in that fight. He even got dropped by Luke. You know, obviously he got back up and, you know, first his first adversity in the ring. You know, he got dropped for the very first time as a professional, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you know, he came back to win that fight. I believe it was a hook to the body that dropped Luke and, and stopped at the end of that fight. Um... Again, you know, even after that, and I watched that fight, and even in this post-fight interview, he called out Javante Davis and uh, and Devin Haney. And then, like, a little bit after, like a couple of weeks after that, you know, he came out with the whole mental stuff or just him going through personal stuff. When it comes to the mental part, I feel like I feel that, that is just a little bit of crap. I don't think that he's going through that. I think he's just using that as an excuse. To get out of that fight. You know, I personally, like I said, I, I just don't know why he just doesn't want to fight them now. You know, you talk on social media, but you don't follow through. Man, if I had the least smallest opportunity and I was a professional boxer or MMA fighter, whatever the case may be, and have a big opportunity to fight. So it's not like you don't know the person. You, you fought them in the amateurs. You... So you have an idea on how they fight or whatnot. I feel like, you know, you should just fight. Like, I feel like you just fight. Like, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes or whatnot. None of us do, you know, none of us fight fans know what goes on behind the scenes to really say that, oh, just fight, you know. I just think that for me personally, when it comes to the juicy, uh, his juicing allegation using the steroids, I personally think he is not doing that. You know, you guys let me know in the comment section. But I personally think he's not. You know, I just think that he just doesn't want to fight any of those guys yet. 
you know, he don't feel ready. I mean, his skills in the ring are pretty decent, you know, if not all that, you know, compared to Devin Haney, you know. And it doesn't, and for Ryan, it just doesn't look good because we talk so much about them, you know, especially Devin Haney for some reason, you know, I feel like if he's not relevant or nothing, like Devin Haney was super relevant. Awesome fight, I've seen his fight live. Devin Haney can go, and, and even Devin Haney's last fight, what the adversity he had to go through for like a round and a half when he got rocked really bad. So when, it, when he got rocked, it wasn't like he got rocked towards like the 10 seconds of the fight. He got rocked in the beginning of the round and had to deal with that and had to deal with a little bit, had to deal with it a little bit towards the round after. But he came out on top. He was winning the fight regardless. It didn't matter. You know, the guy guy that he fought just won those those rounds. I mean, you know. Listen, Ryan, if, just go out there and fight these guys, man. It's only going to help you and your legacy. It's going to help you guys from both of your legacies or any person that you choose to fight. You know, I'm pretty sure if Devin Haney wanted to fight Javante Davis and they can make that fight happen, I'm pretty sure both of those guys would go right in the square circle and get it on. You know, I personally, like I said, Ryan just needs to fight, man. You need to fight, you know. You're not going to kill the critics by not fighting these guys, you know. And for me, and I tell, my, I tell this to my friend all the time, the problem that I have with all of them sometimes is that they don't want to fight. And majority of the time, when you, when you hear it, it's all about money. Like, I get it. You know, I get it. Or maybe I don't, just because I'm not rich or whatnot. But, I don't know, deep down in my heart, I would want to fight if I had the opportunity to fight Devin Haney or whatever. Or Ryan Garcia himself. Like, I don't even care. You know, but that, that's me. You know, so to answer the question, no. You know, and, you know, it just doesn't look good when you have... Canelo and three others of your teammate, again, that got popped for steroids use or enhancement. Which, when it comes to Canelo, I really don't see why he even did that in the first place. Like, that dude has really good boxing skills to even do that. I think it's, I think it's ridiculous. You know, if Ryan Garcia is juicing, then that, you know, that sucks. Hopes that he comes out clean. I don't, like I said, I don't think so. But if he was to be doing that, that sucks. You know, he's a very young kid, and I don't want to see that hindering his career moving forward. You know, um, you guys let me know in the comments section what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit the subscribe, throw those thumbs up for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.